Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James. Now two weeks ago I released a video titled Top 5 Removed Items in Terraria and you guys seem to really love it. But one thing I noticed in the comments section is that people were getting confused between what a removed item is and what an unobtainable one was. So I thought today I'd clear up that question by giving you the top 5 unobtainable items in Terraria. So first a quick definition. If an item is added to the game and maybe wasn't made obtainable, but was then later removed, it classifies as a removed item, even though people were never able to get it. But if an item or enemy is added into the game and there isn't a way to get it yet, it's classified as unobtainable. Now there is actually a range of different unobtainable items hidden away in Terraria, and in previous updates we found that previously unobtainable items such as the Gravity Globe actually end up making their way into the game. Now with all that out of the way, let's begin my top 5 unobtainable items in Terraria. Six. Okay, okay, I know this is a top 5 list, but I had to throw this one in here for all the PC only players of Terraria. Watches are currently unobtainable in the mobile and 3DS version of Terraria. How crazy is that? Five. Now if you're not already aware, when playing through the Expert Edition of Terraria, at the end of every boss fight, the player is given an Expert Mode drop, which includes a 100% drop rate for an invaluable item, which can range from an extra accessory slot to a scarf that reduces damage by 17%. However, one boss doesn't actually behave like the rest of the Expert Mode bosses, and instead of dropping a treasure bag, it drops its loot when it dies, which bosses in Expert Mode don't actually do. However, the Lunatic Cultist Treasure Bag is in the game's files, and when hacked into the game, gives a 15% rock chance of the Ancient Cultist Mask. It's still currently unknown why this item was left unobtainable, but maybe they have plans for it in the next update. Four. Currently in the game, there is 9 unique banners that players can't obtain just yet, despite the fact they've already been added into the game. These include the Blue Cultist and Caster, which were probably made unobtainable since killing 50 of them would mean killing around 25 Lunar Cultist bosses. Three White Cultist banners, which were most likely made unobtainable since their enemies are currently unspawnable. The Severed Hand banner, the Small Cell banner, and finally the Crawlipede banner. And just a quick fact on this one, the Crawlipede is the only enemy in the game without a health bar. The more you know. Three. Now this one is a little hard to talk about without just being completely technical, but one unobtainable item in Terraria is a debuff called Dazed, which if available would give the player reduced movement speed by one third horizontally and reduced jump height. This is meant to give the player the sensation that they are concussed. This however still can't be inflicted onto the player as of version 1.3, but it is hidden away in the game's files along with a sprite that shows two spinning stars, like cartoon characters being knocked over the head with a hammer. As a bonus one, since I've already mentioned it once before, a potion called the Red Potion is unobtainable too, which gives the player several debuffs all at once. Two. Now since there are a ton of these, I've decided to bulk them all together into one slot on this list. Now following the launch of 1.3, players stumbled across four sets of tools made unobtainable in the game's code for each of the Lunar Pillars. These include a set of drills, chainsaws, hammers and axes. Now if you know your stuff, you'll know exactly why these are made unobtainable, and that's because there is instead of having four different types of tools, there is a replacement by combining the hammer and the axe and then a pickaxe on its own. I really like the sprites for these, but they're definitely one set of items I don't think will ever have a place in the game. So let's give a moment of silence for the poor person that sprited them. Your efforts for Terraria are greatly appreciated. One. Now I know I'm cheating a little bit on this one by combining four things into one spot, but I really have to talk about these enemies that are currently unobtainable, since I think they're really great ideas. So the first unobtainable enemy is an exploding snowman, which would be included in the Frost Legion event, and would blow up when close to an enemy. They even hinted that he would finally be obtainable in the 1.2 changelog, but it never ended up happening. Another unobtainable enemy is the Jungle Mimic, which is currently unobtainable as the hard mode jungle already has enough items, so this may make a return in the future. There is also the White Cultist, which despite not being obtainable, has its own banner. And finally, my favourite unobtainable enemy, the Chattering Teeth Bomb. Now this thing bounces towards you and then explodes on impact. How cool is that? And it looks like a pair of teeth. So that's about it for today's top 5 list. Now, if you were in control of Terraria, which one of these items would you finally make obtainable and why? Let me know in the comment section down below. Now in case you missed it, why not check out this top 5 list I did recently, 
for removed items. If you're into hidden items in Terraria, you'll definitely enjoy this list. Now here at Chippy Gaming, I do a ton of Terraria, so to save you the time of searching for another one of my videos, why not click that subscribe button? You'll get early access to my videos the moment they are posted directly to your homepage, all for free. That's about it for today's video. As always, I thank you so much for your continuous support, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.